Today we're going to be taking a look at the Camco RV rain gutter spouts with built-in extensions. These are sold in the four pack, so it gives you enough to take care of two gutters and are available in white or black. Here's what your gutter is going to look like installed. As you can see, this is going to give us about three inches of space between the end of the spout and our RV. That's going to eliminate that black streaking that we have, we generally see running down the side of the RV. This gets it out past any of the awnings or anything like that that we might have. Now in the kit you'll have a four pack, you're going to have two different sides. You can see this one is for our right side and we're also going to have a left side. So we have two lefts and two rights so we can accomplish one total gutter system twice. This is what older style gutters kind of look like. You can see very small, doesn't have that extension that comes off. So this is definitely a big upgrade to those. This generally puts the water running right down the side of your RV. Now our gutters are made out of a polypropylene material, so unlike just regular plastic, these are going to remain soft and flexible in all different kinds of temperature ranges, so even when it gets cold they're not going to get real brittle. They're also going to stand up against UV rays and things like that. Generally that's the number one killer of our gutters, are those UV rays penetrating it, making it into that powdery, brittly plastic which eventually breaks off. Now all in all the installation process isn't that difficult and it's going to give us a lot of protection. Getting that water out away from the side of our RV or of our camper is going to eliminate a lot of those issues we get with water getting inside and eventually just destroying it. Now here you can see the common problem. We have this all the time. Basically either some ice has come off the roof, a branch has come down, but one way or another our gutter here or at least the extension off the gutter with the downspout has been broken off. You can see over time these are going to get kind of brittle and they just generally flake away. Now to do the installation of your extension we'll need to remove the caulk. You can see we've got a little bit here, a little bit here, and then there's a little bit on the bottom side. And we also need to get behind this plastic cover. There's going to be a screw here and another one here that we can remove. To get behind that cover, I'm going to use a straight blade. I'm going to go up and in, and then just try to roll that down and out of that. It's in like a little channel there. Flat blade screwdriver should take care of that for you. Maybe you have to use two of them like what I'm doing here. You can see kind of how that works. We pull the top out, and we can pull that bottom side out. This will go back in fairly easy, so don't worry about pulling out a bunch of it. The edge or the corner here though, we need to use our screwdriver to get that down and around. And once we have that strip out of the way, you'll see we've got two self-tapping screws. One's right there, one's right there. Let's get those popped out of there. You need a quarter inch driver generally. Now we want to, I said before, kind of get rid of that caulk that we've got on top. Generally a uh, Razor blade is going to be our best bet there, just to cut a line through it that way, and also down through it that way. You can see with that screwdriver, I'm able to slide in behind this extrusion. We just need to separate it a little bit, just twist our screwdriver generally. Now, anywhere my screwdriver is making contact, I've got it below that caulk line, so if we do happen to make a little mark on the camper here. We'll just caulk over it, you won't be able to see it. Now once we've got a little bit of a gap here, we're going to start working the gutter itself off of our gutter rail here. Maybe a little bit of caulk there you can see. And that's the part we'll be taking out. You can see that's the tab that's going to slide in behind and that's where our gutter should be. Here you'll notice we took a minute, we got all of that old silicone sealant cleaned off there. Now we're going to take our new gutter, we need to slide that in behind. Let's pull out a little bit if we need to. We want to get it up as high as we can. going to be a little bit of an angle down here, of course we want that water to run off. This bottom portion here should be as far up underneath the extrusion as we can get it and that corner we should have that just about right at the end there. Once that's in place I'm going to return my screw furthest away from it first. 
and then that'll hold it in place while we get our screw that's going to go through it as well. All right, those screws in, that's going to be nice and secure there. And we want to get our strip worked back in. It's really best there to get the bottom in and then try to push the top down into it. Now with that in place, you can see we've got our strip back in there. Those corners are really the toughest part, but you'll be able to get them tucked in. And at that point, it's time just to get our silicone back out here and get everything resealed. And that's going to complete our look at the Camco RV rain gutter spouts with built-in extensions.